Welcome to another Hearthstone report. We have a ton of new cards that have been revealed for the Ashes of Outland expansion, and we're going to go over them. And there's some barn burners in here. I'm going to have to say that right at the top. There's going to be some groundbreaking stuff we're going to talk about. But um, let's start off. We pick. Uh, we, we let's pick up where we started where we left off last time. We got Torrent, which is a five mana shaman spell. It says deal three to to a minion. Deal eight to a minion. It costs three less if you cast a spell last turn. Um, so potentially. You're doing eight to a minion for two. Yeah. Um, the only reason why this isn't like, insanely broken is because it's two a minion. Obviously. Because it's two a minion, yeah. But it's it's basically it's almost destroy a minion effect. So it's it's and I would argue it's better than assassinate for I mean, sure. Yeah. Um, so this is very yeah. strong still. And if you you cast spells like you're a shaman, right? You cast spells. That's not a big deal. Well, most it doesn't go time, to Murloc Shaman, but yeah. doesn't go to Murloc Shaman. But most of the time, in like any sort of control idea, and of course Shadow walks out, so the control Shaman in general will be not as strong with Hagatha also being gone. But very, very strong card. What's next? Moark Artificer. 2 mana, 2, 4, Demon, neutral. All minions take double damage from spells. So also... Very, very important, all minions only. So you can't pull crazy uh, OTKs with this sort of thing. Uh, that's very, very important. And and of I course, uh, somewhat noteworthy that there is now more neutral demons. Uh, we've seen that a little bit in the Year of the Dragon, and it's even more so now, because there's now two classes that actually use it. This is also just good stats, right? Like, two mana for 2-4 for is really good. I mean, it's yeah. almost like the, his effect were a downside, actually, which I don't think it is, because... Um, if you play him in the deck, you have you would have constructed the deck in a way to favor him and use his effect. So it, it seems like a slight upside. Well, it's, but it's volatile. But... You have to look at it this way, right? It's easier to destroy him because of his own effect. Yeah. So increasing the health only isn't as huge of a buff as if they increase the attack a little further. Yeah, I, I think I think this is going to see a bunch of play though in a lot of control decks. I mean, yeah, we'll just play this like like with a warpath in warrior, for example, clears much more. Oh, Warpath, Warpath is going to rotate out, but um, it's other, other, other effects like that. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. We've got, oh boy, this is also a good one. Blackjack Stunner, 1 mana, 1, 2 for Rogue. Battlecry, if you control a secret, return a minion to its owner's hand, it costs 2 more. So, with a good one, you mean objectively, right? Because subjectively, this is the sort of card that would make me like quit Hearthstone for 3 months or something. Maybe but if like if Secret Rope becomes a thing, I'm gonna, probably gonna be a professional arena player or something. I'm, I might not touch touch construct that one. Yeah, no, I mean, good isn't strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, probably like it's the it's not the completely broken type of strong, but the broken enough to be very annoying type of strong. I mean, it's 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 freezing traps for one mana targeted with yeah. a condition. It's pretty good. Hey. Please don't. Shadow Council, one mana, Warlock spell, replace your hand with random demons, that means from any class, give them plus two, plus two. Mm, this seems, at first glance, seems like a meme card, but plus two, plus two for demons isn't bad. And, and there's a lot of this good, cheap demons. Zoo. Yeah. yeah, I can see this go in Zoo for sure. Like, if, like it's it's uh, it's probably a lot better of an alternative to Renounce ever was in Zoo. And I think people will put it in just to like if they run out of steam at like turn five or something, they'll tap and play it, and and they have some stuff to, to go with. Yeah, and uh, again, there is some cool demon hunter demons as well that you can also get with this. Right. Log spine knuckles, five mana, four two weapon for shaman. After hero attacks, transform your minions into random ones that cost one more. So evolve again, basically. Yes. For five mana, four two evolves twice. Um, not sure if evolve is gonna become as much of a thing as it used to be. I don't think I don't think it will. Probably, fortunately, because it obviously was very random and not necessarily pleasant. I mean, you but got it's, the it's cards. It's a consideration. You got the cards to go with it. You got Mogu. You got Desert Hair. There is cards that yeah. can make use of this. I don't think it's gonna be like an auto include anywhere, which is nice. It's, it's not gonna be an archetype, maybe like just evolve shaman itself probably won't be a thing. It used to be, uh, because there were more effects, but it might be um, a package ran in, ran in some kind of controller, even aggressive shamans. We'll see. Yeah. The, the weapon is static very aggressively. 
Yeah, um, next up we got, uh, speaking of Shaman, uh, the 3 mana 3-3 three, three, Box Rock Clacker, Battle Cry Transform, adjacent minions and random ones that cost one more. Yeah, I mean, the, the high roll with this is quite clear. Obviously, you get like two um, Mogus out, you rush them, and you play this in the middle, right? Yeah, but even without that, it's, I mean, it's one, one point understated for getting your two mutates out of it, which I think is totally fair. Yeah, that, that is very strong. Uh, oh, we got a Demon Hunter card. Uh, 5 mana, 10-6 Demon, Imprisoned, and Tyne. Dormant for Antien. 2 turns. Antian, whatever. Uh, Dormant for 2 turns. When this awakens, deal 10 damage, randomly split among all enemies. Sounds like a French first name, Antian. I don't know, maybe it is. Um, oh, it's one of those Dormant cards, right? So, stats obviously are through the roof. It, it sounds like, well, these cards make it sound like that the two turn dormant is a very big price to pay. Yeah. Right? Because what this is like. I mean, if you play this on five, you're effectively losing an entire turn worth of tempo. You're using a turn worth of tempo, but what's your opponent going to do in, in those next two turns, right? If they can't, like, legit kill you instantly in those two turns, they'll probably be completely locked out of the game from, from playing minions, right? Because you don't. This is essentially still a Reno effect. But if they don't play minions, then you're dealing 10 to their face. It says exactly. enemies, not enemy minions. Yeah, so... And turn 7 Pyroblast is... decent. The scene is like way too strong, I don't know. Is this dormant for two turns really such a big problem? I mean, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Dragon Maw Overseer, 3 mana, 2-2 two, two minion for Priest. At the end of your turn, give another friendly minion, plus 2, plus 2. Mm, Alright, reminds me of Shadow Ascendant, obviously, and that was very that was not bad when Aggro Priest was sort of a thing um, in the Kobold slash Frozen Throne days. Of course, they're moving um, Priest in a bit more of a control direction now. Yeah. Same same stat line, I think um, Shadow Ascendant was 2 mana, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I believe so, yes. <clears throat> This gives plus 2, plus 2. So, uh, it, it seems like an aggressive sort of card, but of course, putting stats on the board is generally desirable for everyone. It's, it's one of those cards that needs to be removed when they come down, and it's low enough stat that it's not going to be a huge problem, so I think it's 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 fine. It's going to be alright. 3 mana, 4-4 four, four effectively, with a bit of a condition that you have another minion, it's fine. Oh boy, Underlight Angling Rod, a 3 mana 3 2 Paladin weapon. After your attacks, add a random Murloc to your hand. So, so Murloc Paladin still isn't dying, apparently. I mean, they always print some Murlocs for Paladin, but usually not enough. Yeah. Why, actually? Like, what's the historical connection between Murlocs and Paladins at all? I don't, I don't understand why this has to be. I assume that Paladin. the historical part is literally just like Hearthstone history at this point. I guess, right? It's um, it's friggin' uh, uh, the the hero power transformation from Vile yeah. Inquisitor. I don't know. Vile um, Inquisitor. It's, you have it Murloc goes in, yeah. If you play, if you play Murloc Paladin, this thing is uh, this this card is the auto include. Probably two copies of it because it's uh, it's basically underbelly angler, obviously. Um, the effect that is, and you get some some damage as well, which you usually want to push anyway if you play Murloc. So if the deck comes to be, the card's good. If not, then it's not going to be. Anything. We got Alar, 5 mana, 7, 3, Elemental, and it's a Phoenix! In the correct year. Um, summon, a Death Rattle summon a 0, 3, Ashes of Alar that resurrect this minion on your next turn. The token is literally just as a 1 mana, 0, 3, at the start of your turn, transform into right. Alar. Right, because Phoenix, right? So, uh, kind of a bit like Pyros, but it summons on the board. Um, means that you want to kill this, and you also want to kill the Ashes. At yes. the same time, that's that's kind of important. Right? Which There's makes no reason really, to kill this, which makes it really annoying to remove, and it has pretty decent stats. Yeah, seven three. I mean, if the health was higher, it would be much much more difficult. Even so, I think I think it's it being a seven three is more is better for it than if it was like swap for you. Yeah, but you effectively, have to kill it. You have to get a report. Effectively, it's a it's a seven six. Effectively, yeah, and um. The health can't be taken off with one attack, so I think it's pretty exactly. strong. I think it's, it's balanced, actually. I've seen I've seen worse, like more broken stuff. It's I a mean, seven six. It's, it's better not, for five mana for a legend. It's not broken, but I mean, this is gonna see uh, play in decks that want something like this. 
Maybe. I'm not Which even is like really sure this is gonna a be. sticky high attack minion. I mean, this was probably Maybe. decent yeah. in like something like a tempo deck. Maybe an elemental deck if there is one. Maybe. Marsh Hydra. 7 mana 7 7 Druid Beast. Rush after this attacks, add a random 8 cost minion to your hand. So this card wins every arena game, right? Obviously. But how about yeah. standard? I mean, it how still is nice curve. It's a 7 7 rush. I remember Undasta? I remember Undasta. Yeah, Very but it, similar it, card. it curves nicely because it automatically gives you something to play on 8. Yeah. It does say random 8 cost minions, so that is from any class as well. Uh, not sure if there is too many class specific 8 drops that are relevant, but. It's the value machine for sure. So you, you can't hate on it. Definitely. And if it's yeah, and if it sure. sticks, you got potentially got some to play every turn. That's true, yeah. Those eight drops all the time are they're not bad. But in arena this is obviously busted beyond any any bully. Oh god. Uh Shadow Jeweler Hanar, two mana one five legendary rogue minion. After you play a secret, discover a secret from a different class. It has been specified, this means you're getting exactly one secret per class offered of the classes that you did not play a secret from. Which is to say, if you get a paladin secret, say from this class, you play it, yeah. you get a rogue, a hunter, and a mage secret offered in the discovery. Ah, okay, okay. Boy, it's, it's become quite clear to me that um, rogue should have been retired from the game and replaced by Demon Hunter at this point, I think. Um, I I can only hope that this does not become a thing, but this card also seems very strong, unfortunately. It seems very strong and it plays with uh, the new secret theme that they're once again getting, and it plays with the Burgle theme that they've been trying to push for a while now. Yeah, so, so thematically it's very great. People, like, do everyone a favor and just don't play this. Just don't play Secret Rogue, even if it's good. Just don't, don't kill the game. Please don't. We got a 2 mana 3-3 three, three, Demon uh, Imprisoned Scrap Imp for Warlock, dormant for 2 turns. When this awakens, give all minions in your hand, plus 2, plus 2. Now this seems much more appropriate than the uh, the Demon Hunter or the Big Demon, I think. Um, this, I can see the dormant for 2 turns uh, actually being a thing, because in Zucar, in Zudex, um, you get the buff on essentially what is your turn 4. Which uh, is a lot of time to wait. Remind me, Doubling Imp is which one, isn't it? Doubling imp is from uh, Witchwood, yes. Shots. So that's out. Yeah, would have been would have been great, right? Yeah. That's one of the cards that would have worked reasonably well with. Um, it, yeah. I mean, there is still cards. Too. It's not it's not horrible with any cards, of course, but yeah. Um, yeah. So here's why I don't think this is as strong in Zoo as it might might or the other ones, the dormant ones, or at least the Demon Hunter one. Um, is because for one, you want to have a big hand in this, which is, Zoo typically doesn't do early on. You want to play stuff, obviously. Um, Secondly, you rely on Galakron a lot, and of course all the invocation demons that are summoned aren't affected by this. It's just the, the invoke yeah. cards themselves. And you wait two turns, so you, you play this on two, it's, it's, it's good stats, but it's dorm dormant, obviously. I so, mean, the, the one on deck that this will make sense... The deck this will make sense in is Handlock, but the thing is, I don't think Handlock needs it. I don't, I don't think so either. Um, you might, I mean, but like, what do you take out? Do you like play this over Doomsayer in any Control Warlock? Ever? Uh, probably not. Uh, the question probably also is, not, right? is there something rotating that you maybe want to replace with this? I don't know. We will see, but this doesn't seem as strong as the other Dormant stuff we've seen. Um, oh, we got a Prime. Well, 2 yeah. mana, 3, 2, Astromancer Solarian, uh, Mage Legendary, Spell Image plus 1, Shuffle, Death Rattle Shuffle Solarian Prime into your deck, and the Prime reads, uh, seven, it's a 7 mana, 7, 7, Demon, uh, spell damage plus one. Battle cry casts five random mage spells. Targets enemies if possible. If possible. So that means if you get a targeted spell that can hit any enemy, it's gonna hit that enemy. Yeah, I mean the idea is that <clears throat> uh, the idea is that you're not gonna fireball your own face. Exactly. Or worse, so, pyroblast. Uh, yeah, this is really strong. Uh, I I don't know, man. At least it's the prime, right? That needs to be shoved yeah. into the deck again. Um, I mean, they, they so are meant to be strong because you have to play the regular one, get it yeah. killed, not silenced on the way, and then draw exactly. the other one, play it. 
It's a process. So maybe it's not completely it's not completely nuts. But uh but we'll see. Do you remember the stat lines by the way for the other primes or the cost or anything? Because I it, it is are they all prime numbers? Or is it just is that just coincidental with this one? I don't think so. I mean we I saw know. a couple of I, I don't know. Oh the lurker below. <laughs> is oh, a I six, the lurker below. Is a six mana six three shaman beast. It doesn't say it on the card right now, but they said they were gonna change it because it's supposed to be a beast. Ah, it's a fish. Uh, it's a kraken. It's a yeah. kraken. What? Yeah. That's not the lurk. Is that the lurker below from uh, from uh, Wow? Because that's a different lurker below or something. Right? I thought that was a fish. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a uh, secret boss, and I believe like some of plateau or some some not some of plateau and some some narrated instance. Uh, battle cry deal three damage to an enemy minion. If it dies, repeat on one of its neighbors. Boy, this um. It seems really good. It seems really strong. Like this against Zoo or something, it'll just clear the board. Yeah, I mean this against like Zoo or Token, it clears the board. Um, the problem is, of course, that once you get into bigger stuff, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, that, that is that is true. It's, and a uh, six mana six three deal three is not good. Yeah, control card. Akama. Speaking of the primes. By the way, Akama actually very valid on his own. Like he's a three mana three four yeah. with stealth. That's that's good. Akama Prime is a six mana six five with permanently stealthed. Boy, um, cloak of invisibility, right, Dungeon Room? Yep. Is there weird stuff to do with that? Like something uh, crazy that can be done. I don't think so. I mean, it's it's not overpowered or anything. I would think it's just really strong because you can't remove it effectively. But otherwise, for all the stuff you have to go through to get him, I don't think it's that crazy. Well, you, what you have to do, you have to play a very strong three drop and then wait until you draw it, like which which rogue has no problem with. I mean, sure. yeah, it's not. But again, it's, it's also like when it comes to primes, I would argue it's one of the weaker ones, uh, the prime version specifically. But yeah, Akama well, is one, of the, one of the least spectacular ones, but it might be one of the most consistent because it's just going to stick around. Yeah. We'll have to see. And it has the advantage that, again, the non prime version is actually one of the stronger ones. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be hard to remove. Zixor Apex Predator, speaking of primes, there is the Hunter Prime. Rush, Death Rattle, Shuffle, Zixor Prime into your deck. It's a beast. There's also a good, good base card, obviously. And it's a beast, which is always and, appreciated. And uh, this does not show up in Build a Beast, interestingly enough. Yeah. We have that been confirmed already. Uh, Zixor Prime is an 8 mana 4 4 with Rush Battlecry summon 3 copies of this minion. It's also Which beast. means you get we get 4 4 beasts. 4 4 4 beasts with Rush. Yes, 4 8. Boy. That's pretty good. That's really That's good. really good. That is like a bunch of facelesses. Yes. And you don't have oh. you don't have to even sack anything for it. That's that is that is very good. If like I don't know how much it's gonna fit into current hunter ideas. I mean Highlander obviously it'll it'll fit quite well. Um because why not? Valiant stuff, face or the aggro hunter probably not so much. But I mean this could always good. go into a mid-range hunter. The question is just is there gonna sure. be a prominent mid-range hunter? Yeah. Because mid-range hunter is never bad. But it's also really like, 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 like is it gonna be substantially competing with Highlander in any way? Because Highlander is sort of the mid-range uh, idea at the moment. I mean, yeah, that's the question, right? Uh, we got the 3-mana 110 War Mall Challenger for Warrior. Battlecry, choose an enemy minion, battle it to the death. So they'll they'll attack each other until it uh, until one of them dies, obviously. Uh, that's what I would have assumed, yes. So this this also plus commanding shout is basically assassinate. And you leave, and you remain a 1-1 one -one board. Uh, yes, and of course against um, something like Zoo, uh, you are very reasonably gonna get still like a one eight or maybe like a one even a one four. Yeah. It's, not, it's not horrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. on an empty board, just play an, on an aggro board. It's a one three. It's a one ten. <sighs> There's a bunch of spots for enrage happening, right? Like you can do a lot of damage to it. Yeah. Um, I, I, of course, like in, you're not getting something like Inner Fire and Priest where this would be insane, no. but hey, yeah. it's... That's pretty good. 
Lady Liadrin is a 7 mana 4 6 Paladin Legendary. Battlecry, add a copy of each spell you cast on friendly characters this game to your hand. So, Lanessa was not very good, and I don't think this is either, because it's a very similar idea, and, and um, that even cast it on itself. It was played in um, in the Galvadon sort of meme decks, but not really seriously for the most part. Um, I don't think this is a very good legend, honestly. I think this is rather weak, because usually these types of things have proven to be a bit too slow. Especially because it doesn't cast anything, right? It's like... yeah. It has the advantage over Lanessa that it has better stats, but it's also has even less immediate impact, which is like... Yeah, but exactly. Lanessa would come down and be at least a 28-28 with the Divine Shield and, and Blessing of Wisdom and stuff. This is just... It's just a 4-6, and you get a bunch of cards to your hand. The only situation in which I can see this is something like the old um, APM Priest sort of idea where it's like there is some sort of spell yeah. that you really want the copies of and you can somehow exploit it, but I doubt it right now. No duplication in Paladin, right? Uh, I don't think so. And there's 8-mana 5-5 five, five Beastmaster Leorox for Hunter. Battlecry uh, summon 3 beasts from your hand. This could be really good. I mean, yeah. Remember uh, you... the big beast sort of summon? Yeah. Brute, whatever it was, uh, Hunter. You mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Catherine Winter Wisp. Catherine Winter Wisp. Uh, and yeah. I think it was one other thing. Yeah. The recruit. Right, the, the, the cube was the cube was and there was the cube hunter. Yeah. The um, cube hunter. Yeah. That was really strong. And this, like, you get maybe you get um, your king crush or something. You know, you got you got blood sting or you got high main. You have a lot of big beasts. So if you do a big beast slash recruit hunter, this definitely works quite well. And of course, um, as I always like to point out, this card isn't horrible in just a random mid range sort of hunter where you get a 5-5 if you get, um, what, like 3-4 mana more of beasts, which you are gonna get at, at least. Yeah. It's still decent value. It's it's alright, yeah. You can play with Tundra Rhino maybe, give everything charge. Oh, Not bad. yeah. Augmented Porcupine, 3 mana 2-4 beast for hunter. Death Rattle, deal this minion's attack damage, random spit among all enemies. So you the idea is obviously you want to buff this in your hand, right? Or on the board, it's a death rattle. Or, or on the board, yeah. Hound Master. Uh, before, before, it get, before it gets removed. Hound Master. Um, and I think Hound Master is one of the better ideas, actually. First of all, it curves into it. And second of all, it has taunts. So you have, you have to then also actually kill it. Yeah. So for control, maybe um, Highlander, if Hound Master finds a way, uh, could be very strong if you can somewhat reliably get it, get it on there, I think. Yeah, and of course this is one of the crazier things to pick and build a beast, but then again, build a beast is crazy oh, yeah. as it is. Build a beast is insane, but that's wild. Yeah, evocation, one mana legendary mage spell. Fill your hand with random mage spells. At the end of your turn, discard them. Solarium comes to mind. Yes. So the saving grace for this is that it can't really. OTK, like it's not gonna find you a pyroblast most of the time, and you can use it at the same in the same spot unless you have reduction or something. I um, mean, this goes in a deck with Kalthus, of course. Yes, it does. So Kalthus, Cyclone. Wait, which expansion is Cyclone? Mana Cyclone. But the the Mana Cyclone, I think. Um, I think. Is that Rise, Rise of, Shadows? of Shadows? Yeah, so I that's still so. in. So yeah, this plus Kalthus could potentially give us a new Cyclone Mage. It could. Um, I hope it doesn't. I hope it's too random to uh, be successful, because the, the issue, or the general issue with all with the direction that they're going for mage, as much as people think that it's really fun to play, is that in order to make it competitive, as in like fifty percent higher win rate, like you can play it reliably, it has to be brokenly strong to, like at its best, to be competitive yeah. in, on its average. The problem is that um, mages are getting less and less consistent. You're getting more yeah. and more like just add random spells to your hand. Exactly, they just get randomness. And to make that consistent, you have to overpower it by incredible amounts, which is I, not fun. I actually saw a fun post on Reddit recently where someone said like, oh yeah, 
Uh, my theory is that Jaina's just getting lazier and lazier. She just like, wait, she knows See that she like wave her hands around and something yeah. will happen. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, basically, yeah. Uh, we also got a legendary minion for the Demon Hunter, and it's Kane Sunfury, and oh boy, this is what Leroy died for. That's what Leroy died for. If you guys haven't seen the cartoon animation, like the, the short they did for this, by the way, on the Hearts of Noob channel, definitely go watch it. It's really funny. That's hilarious, um, yeah. Yeah, it's just really good. They have Malfurion and then Illidan just, you know, like Malfurion keeps up putting up big tongs with guardians and stuff. And then he draws this and just hits him in the face. Also, of course, so. everyone was uh, referencing the old Smork days where it's like, um, face play taunt, we still go face. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Vengeance. So, yeah, it looks, looks uh, pretty Charge! Good. All friendly uh, attacks <laughs> ignore taunt. Ignore taunt. That's all of them. Not just this. You, you play this and everything can can hit past taunt that's that's very important for demon hunter it seems like a very very key minion because with your weapons your hero power uh, I was about to say, one minute, of damage one minute hero power that basically just becomes deal one damage to face whenever you want to with this yeah this is really good uh so yeah steven hunter seems to be an aggro class which uh another point for why you should have replaced rogue probably but we'll we'll see how this turns out and since the play Hearthstone side is horribly outdated, uh, we got a second source for the rest of the cards. We're going to Hearth Pawn. Hearth Pawn. Uh, yeah, you, I think you can read them well enough uh, in the video. I can read them, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, you're not uh, talking to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't, but it's still no. uh, relevant, of course. Uh, Maya of Shadow Song. 4 mana, 4 3, neutral legendary minion. Battlecry, choose a minion. It goes dormant for two turns. All right, so I'm glad this is at least neutral and not rogue, but rogue already had two legends anyway. Uh, yeah. it seems pretty good. I mean, it's it's if it's effectively a destroy effect for a, a little bit, right? It's not quite as good maybe as uh, as what's what's called a lasher. Uh, uh, but then again, you don't know, razor the, razor spine or something. The the plan oh, from yeah. Umbro. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. but, but then again, you don't need combo for this one. Uh, there's also two uses for this actually one of which is to yes get rid of an enemy minion you know the other one on is to play it on your own dormant minions so yeah. that they reawaken to re-trigger their effects exactly so that's that's definitely possible so maybe goes um with the with the with the zoo warlock then i don't know if you get that effect twice but it's still very slow but... i know if, if it would go with something like the demon hunter one probably where you can deal another 10 damage randomly split but then again that thing also has 10 attacks so why not just hit the face yeah exactly so we'll, we'll, we'll have to see but uh, it's it's a it's like people like the dormant thing now so that that's they're bringing that up as a mechanic and this is versatile and uh, neutral so quite useful Epic also base. maya of course an important character in the story yeah uh, Epic Mage spell, 5 mana, Apexus Blast. Deal 5 damage if your deck has no minions, summon a random 5 cost minion. So, full spell mage is basically what they want to do, right? And this is sort of culminates in the, the issue we, we had lined out before. Um, all mage spells, are, or most of the mage spells, are tending into the direction of complete randomness. And this is going to go one of two ways. Either that um, mage will have like a 35% win rate, and people will play it purely for memes, because it's not consistent enough. Or if it's going to have like a 50-ish percent win rate, uh, it's going to be the it's going to be absolutely ridiculous in terms of having to play against it. If it hits, it, there's absolutely nothing you can ever do. Um, which is that's my that's been my fundamental problem really with the class since the beginning, and it's gotten worse uh, because it's like the you know the culmination of of fun and interactive. And there's always cards that uh, people use to make fun of that because it's yeah. totally not. And this class is, is going more and more in that exact direction. So, like, you're playing a mage right now. I like to always say, when you when you face a mage, you have a 50% win rate. Doesn't matter what you play. Doesn't matter what they play. It's 50-50. Because and there's really nothing that either either of the two players can can do about changing that, which is not something that I particularly enjoy. Cards like this, or the the decks that this card encourages. Um, bit sour grapes for me i don't appreciate it but that being said in a deck that makes this happen i think this is a pretty good one it's it's essentially um firelands portal a bit like firelands portal yeah that's what it reminded me of um yeah but i don't think it's worth building a deck just for this uh that's the question not. is just are we gonna get more cards with this condition it turns out pure paladin was pretty good so maybe this becomes a thing but not just because of this card you can still play your reno by the way the hero card 
Uh, Just right, minions. no minions, yeah. Uh, we got Apexis Smuggler. Two mana, two, three. Uh, mage Minion. After you play a secret, discover a spell. Alright, so this is something seems a bit more basic. Very strong, obviously. Good, good stats for the cost. And would also encourage that deck that we've seen. So... I, I don't have positive things to say about him sub subjectively. I think it's a well-designed card, but uh, I don't like what it's doing. I mean, yeah, it's um, I mean, it's Secret Mage. It's always been there in some capacity. We got a neutral dormant minion, well, um, imprisoned demon rather, uh, imprisoned vile fiend, dormant for two turns. Rush. It's a two mana three five demon. So uh, a, f a three five on four with rush is decent, right? That's not bad. Yes. Which means that just this by itself, not terrible. Um, but then you get to also play something for four mana on your turn four. So you get this when it awakens and you get something for four. I think this is a worthy investment to play uh, on Yeah, two. it seems pretty decent. Again, in, in a deck that absolutely needs to play something on two, this is of course not great. So it depends a little bit on the deck, but this is generally pretty decent. Yeah. In tempo, tempo versus tempo games, usually the board or the game isn't won on turn two. It's usually around turn four, turn five when the, the big swings happen. This can contribute to it. Yeah. Uh, we get a neutral legendary that is dormant as well, but it's a bit different. It's a four mana 12 12 demon. It's Mactheridon. Uh Dormant. Battle cry. Summon three, one, three enemy wardens. When they die, destroy all minions. And awaken. So this has been the point of a lot of discussion. Is this going to break Hearthstone completely? Is this just really strong? Is it bad? Um, and who's going to make use of this best? And in practice, it's going to be very hard to to talk about it right now. Or in theory, I should say rather, because we can't possibly think of any of like every possible interaction with this. Um, just some noteworthy things about this is that. It is volatile in that if you don't kill the wardens on the same turn you play it, this essentially becomes you might become useless. Say um, you play this on four, and then and then your opponent shadow steps one of his wardens and never oh plays it, then this will never this will never awaken. It's sort of like the darkness, and their opponent um, gets rid of the candles in their deck and and then replaces their cards or something. Uh, darkness will never awaken, and this will stay dormant forever. So you're taking a risk if you play this on four and don't kill the wardens immediately. That being said, if you if you play some class that can't really remove their own minions effectively most of the time, and most classes can't, you play it on four, you kill the wardens on five, whatever way you choose, and you have a you have a 12-12. Um, yeah, I mean, we talked about this a little bit before the start of the video. You've got uh, Hellfire, you've got... Um... Uh, Shadow Word, well, Shadow Word Horror and Wild. Uh, what was in it? Wild, you have Mossy Horror, Shadow Horror and Wild. Uh, you have, you have um, maybe most probably Warblades of Azanoth in the Demon oh, Hunter, right, yeah. which has the repeat attack. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a lot of ways to make this happen somewhat easily on turn 5. Yeah. Um, and, and then if it does happen, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's enough of a downside for people to not play it as much on 4 with the... Um, forever dormant but if it just shows up on five it's gonna win most games so it's a scary card but i, I mean there is still I... single target removal this might make yeah. cards like assassinate be played more or even just sap deals with it for a little bit but think about maybe like Dru like a classic druid or something right you don't really you don't remove your own minions and you also don't have single target removal so this no. should like this would shut down certain classes almost completely um i hope that and i'm going to trust in blizzard that they did enough playtesting on this because it's it's a card that definitely requires a lot of that um to make sure that this isn't going to affect the game in an unwanted direction but we'll see um we got a two mana five four demon for hunter in present felmaw dormant for two turns when this awakens attack a random enemy Okay, so attacking a random enemy has historically always been a downside rather than an upside. Um, because your enemy or your opponent, especially with this one, your opponent can uh, scheme around it very well. So say like, I know that this wakes up next turn and is going to attack something, I can put something down that uh, plays around it really well. So this is probably Poisons one of the optimally... weaker dormant ones. 
poisons you poisons, can play, yeah, or, poisons or just something with a lot of health. Mm-hmm. So you can play around this well. Though that being said, of course the stats are incredible. If it if it works out, like you play, this is a control card definitely. It's not an aggro card. Um, you play this against an aggressive deck that doesn't have many different avoidance tools, but just plays minions, and this wakes up on four, just kills one of the one of the guy's tokens, one of his demons or whatever, and uh, you still have a big minion. So we'll see if it finds play in Highlander, but I'm not sure. I still think it's great, but it's I mean it's nice to have, I suppose. Uh, we got set the the Satek Veil Weaver for priest. It's a two mana two three. After you cast a spell on a minion, add a priest spell to your hand. Okay, this also uh, goes with the class redesign, obviously control ish spell generation, and another point of why divine spirit was probably removed from the game. Oh god, yeah. Um, Shattered Rumbler, 5 mana, 4, 6, Elemental for Shaman. Battlecry, if you cast a spell last turn, deal 2 damage to all minions. Seems very good, because you, you play a lot of quests, a lot of spells of Shaman, of course. You can control Shaman, that is. This is very much a control idea. Uh, and a 4, 6 on 5 with that sort of... It's very strong. Remember, Dusk, it's not quite Duskbreaker, because Duskbreaker was cheaper. And the condition in the deck that it was in was almost easier to meet, but uh, it, it's a it's a decent card. I think it's the effect is pretty good as a, as a board clear. One, yeah. not, uh, both the dual sided board clear, so it's not as strong as like Holy Nova as a battle cry, but uh, seems fine. And last but not least, we've got the four mana five two Mocknathal Lion, a beast for hunter. Rush battle cry, choose a friendly minion, copy its death rattle. Imagine this with cube still in the meta. Oh boy. But even just that in general, uh, you have a lot of good death rattles in Hunter, and this is very likely to die the turn it's being played, and it's yeah. going to remove a medium-sized minion. This, this seems very strong, actually. It seems like a ma- major value machine. Um, I mean, just this coming down they, after a high main is on the board is already pretty good. Yeah. Just, okay, just let's do this, right? Remove the battle cry on this card. Yes. Oh god, it it's, it's it's still decent, yeah. It's a five rush or four. Yeah. Like it's still not bad. And it's a beast, so you have the synergies in Hunter. And it's a beast, right? And you get you get whatever death rattle you choose as this, which could be a very strong upside. I mean to be fair, you have to have a death rattle minion on board to show you want to play this yeah. and optimally rush into something, so Rush has always had the bit of a downside that it's useless when your opponent doesn't have a minion it's a, it's a superb tempo card in any way like it's one of the bigger swing cards in the game for sure yeah and um honestly so far i'm overall liking what i'm seeing for hunter of this expansion yeah i do i do too i do really yeah maybe hunter is going to be very pleasant again. A, lot, a lot of people like to complain about hunter which i've never understood as much as certain other classes which i have um extensively complained about in this video so if you paid attention you'll figure out which those are um I understand that, like, when Rexar was out, for example, people thought it was extremely strong, and, and now you get the face hunter, and people are like, oh, what am I supposed to do against it? But a uh, hunter never, to me, felt like a class that's, like, annoying to play against, or, like, oppressive in a way that it... I'm playing too many hunters, I don't want to play... I'm going to stop playing Hearthstone for a day or two. That has never happened to me. Yeah, no, and also, uh, hunter's always been one of the nicer classes for budget players, of course, because Midrash Hunter's yeah. always strong, so... It's a good beginner class as well. It's it's relatively like simple, a, and it's relatively this cheap. It's a good shot of being in um, our potential budget hunter. Oh, yeah. Up. Which, by the way, we're planning to uh, relaunch the budget series, of course, for the new expansion, which is going to be great. So hopefully uh, we can make some happen. But it looks like this card is one of the one of the keys in a, in a lot of, in a lot of uh, budget hunters. So looking forward to trying it out. And that's all the cards for today. That's all the cards. But there's more coming up. So, JJ, what's the schedule that we're looking at uh, coming up in the future? Um. Well, I mean, the next reveal is in like half an hour from when we're recording this. So, <laughs> wait on us. Wait, yeah. no, it's March 21st. That's not even correct. Uh, uh, because yeah. it's how far behind the series. Okay, so this was the most yeah. recent one, like two and a half hours ago. Yes. Um, Wait, there should have been two cards revealed at the same time. And one yeah, already not. after that. Okay. Is it... Oh, sure. Rumbler is the other one. Rumbler is the other one. Oh, Rumbler is the other one. They just had to meet. Rumbler is the other one, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, I have a pro tip for everyone, right? So, of course, we can't produce 
reports on like basically a, a twice daily basis. Obviously, there's a delay there. But uh, here's a pro tip for everyone: if you want to keep up with all the card releases almost real time, join our Discord server. The link to that's in the description. We have an integrated bot that fetches the cards right off when they're revealed. They post them in the Discord every single one. You can't miss one, and you already have the community, the basis in which to discuss those uh, with the other people in there, which is always a fun thing to, to do. So uh, that's a very good reason. Hopefully, we'll see you in the Discord soon. But for this report, um, that's been everything we wanted to talk about. Let us know what you think about these cards, McTheridon. Uh, be creative. Let us know what how to use them at its, at its best. So what, what kind of combos are you looking for there? But um, more videos obviously coming up. We're going to cover every card that they release in future reports. So stay tuned for that. And if you don't want to miss it, sub to our channel, Trash King TV. Um, Hang out in our Discord. Hopefully, we'll see you there soon. And drop a like for our work. And uh, hopefully, until next time, JJ. That's it. That's it.